there's three, four hundred spectators in their cars and and there's a pit area, uh, trailers and trucks. I mean, it's it's like being at a, a, a local racetrack, asphalt or dirt. I mean, it's it's a real organization that races like any other type of racing. It's it's amazing. Well, what I'm fascinated with, Greg, and you can give some insight on this, the fact that not only David, but we, there were some other NASCAR stars there that were competing in this event. So just, just tell us the, the list of drivers who were there and, and how you guys were able to recruit getting some of these NASCAR heavy hitters to come out to the event. Well, that was uh, uh, due to, you know, get the other ones out there. Of course, David brought the... Uh, Stephen Light. Brought them out. Um, you know, we had, uh, we had... We had Stephen. We had... Uh, Josh. Josh, Josh Remy. Uh, yep. Ray, Ray, how do you say his last name, Dominic? Rayum. Ray, who's a friend of mine. I don't even know his last name, but Josh <laughs> Rayum. <laughs> I always mess that up. But and then, uh, and then one of his employees, uh, he also was his, uh, Jonathan. That was it. Yeah, Jonathan. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a good time. They, uh, they, uh, uh, some adapt a little better and faster than others, but uh, uh, <laughs> they all had a really good time. And, and uh, uh, they're the professional race car drivers, so they uh, they caught on and, and and realized right away, as you did, how uh, different uh, it is. <laughs> and I, you know, even when I was sitting in the passenger seat, and he's uh, Steve was piling into the corner, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa you're easy. <laughs> there's no there's no stop in the back end in this one. <laughs> And Greg, I was reading too, I guess somewhere that Jeffrey Earnhardt was going to try to be there too, but a scheduling conflict didn't let that happen. Yeah, I wish that would happen now. More the merrier. It was a good time. It really was a good time to um, uh, everybody in the Northland. Um, you know, we're in Superior, Wisconsin. You know, Duluth, Minnesota is just literally two minutes. You know, you have to get there from, you know, he came through from Duluth to get to Superior. Um, everybody loves racing up here. Uh, all, of all kinds. So we're all, always uh, NASCAR fans, been NASCAR fans all my life, like most of the Northland. Man, and you mentioned the amount of fans there. I mean, to think just how cold it was, that's some dedication. I mean, that, that's got to be awesome to have that turnout considering the circumstances. Well, we, we uh, like I say, we have winter around here many months out of the year. So uh, a lot of our fans are used to stuff like that. And, and what else do you do? You know, uh, Let's go watch them racing, and we have it available, so they sit in their vehicles and and uh, with the heat on, and they're they're comfortable, and can, and set the spectator uh, parking so they can watch the track uh, from their vehicles. So, uh, but it was a really nice day. We had what 28 degrees, barely any wind. Uh, sun was out. Uh, it's kind of a rarity. They, they uh, it was a, it was an awesome day for um, you know people that are not used to that kind of. Uh, conditions to come on and, and enjoy it it was actually pretty nice i wasn't used to being frozen that's 28 degrees is nuts you know what i mean they greg says they're usually racing in you know uh zero degrees or seven eight ten degree weather you know what i mean it's just nuts but this man the fans were very passionate the racers uh greg's uh greg's board of direct you know all the people involved with the association and their wives everybody was just so nice and and these people we're passionate, you know, it's fun to talk to people about what they're doing to their race cars or ice racing cars to try to get them to hook up. And, and it's interesting. The front tires have, uh, have, I guess you call them spikes or studs in them. Yeah. And, uh, some people, somebody was telling me, Greg, those tires come from uh, another country and, uh, and, you know, the rear tires are, are kind of like a, a truck knobby tire. And, uh, man, these guys are changing springs, adding weight and, and and trying to get the weight to transfer to get traction, it's uh, it's a it's a big deal, you know what I mean. And the fans uh, during the intermission time, we uh, Greg took ten cars over to the other side, and the fans got to walk around, see the cars, take talk to all the different racers, and it was just a uh, man. I I really didn't know what I was really stepping into, but I uh, but man, I I had a ball. It, it was it was amazing and a great experience, one I'll never forget. And uh, and now you guys, I'm I'm recruiting all the other competitors I'll be racing with. Hey, you guys gotta we gotta go up to Duluth, Minnesota next winter time and, and ice race, you know. So I'm sure we have four NASCAR drivers. I'm sure next year we're gonna have ten or twelve of them, you know. And Dominic and Tyler, y'all gonna have to come up there too and race. You know what I mean? 